Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, Deputy Chairperson Job Sakala claimed Saturday to have mobilized scores of people to sleep at journalist and government critic Hopewell Chinono's Murewa home. The move follows threats by ruling ZANU PF party youths, led by one Torai Kandashaya, to invade and forcibly take possession of part of Chinono's livestock. Chinono runs a goat project at his Murewa village near Mukarakate. According to his lawyer Beatrice Mtetwa, the journalist is currently out of the country. A news article flighted by state broadcaster ZBC alleging Chinono fraudulently took possession of a state sponsored goat project meant for villagers ignited the current fight. The report accused the journalist of benefiting from government's command agriculture. Said Sakala on Twitter, I have decided to join other citizens who have volunteered to be at Janono's village near Mukarakade in Murewa to defend one of our citizens under attack from the regime. I have mobilized more volunteers. Tenorira Co., we will sleep there. This nonsense has to be stopped once and for all. Dot that period when you threaten us and we don't act is over. Dot Makahara Kuda Kuita Nika Ino Yana My Venue. It's ours too. Dot citizens in their hundreds, some in those bushes and mountains waiting to pounce on the devil. Dot Hi I Takakumarai. Dot At Diastalos demonstrating leadership. Chinono has been under attack from government surrogates for laying into the President Emerson Nangagwa's regime over its human rights record and failure to address social service challenges. He was this week forced to share receipts of the initial 35 goats he imported from South Africa to dispel allegations by ZBC. The ZANU PF thug, Torai Kandashaya, plans to loot my property on Sunday. I have instructed my workers not to fight with anyone, let them take, said Chinono. His lawyer Beatrice Mtetwa has since written to the police demanding they investigate the matter before the ZANU PF youths invade the project. Like the street, like the street.